Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to the third annual Fright Night. You are joining us on night number six and tonight we're talking about 2015's The Final Girls. I have absolutely no idea how this movie just kind of went under the radar for me. The movie does start off pretty like heartwarming. We kind of get to meet Max and her mom and her mom is a struggling actress. She used to be like a, a, a scream queen back in her day. She was in very popular uh, B horror movie, something cap, I don't remember, blood, blood bath or something, something like that. It's probably nothing like that. She kind of got stuck within being that horror screen queen genre. She's having a hard time, you know, finding work. As we're kind of getting to know, you know, this mother-daughter duo, an accident happens and uh, Max's mother does pass away. And then we kind of cut three years later. It is the anniversary of her death, uh, but they are showing a screening of, you know, the movie that she was in, that be horror movie. Um, her friends are like, can you come and make an appearance? Just kind of Q&A. She really didn't want to go but ultimately was like okay let's go ahead and and and, and watch this movie. So when they were at the screening uh, fire did break out kind of being Final Destination in a way. It was like the way that they they shot it and everything. Um, anywho the group of friends kind of were trying to figure out a way to go and the movie was still playing and um, the way to escape they pretty much just kind of cut through the screen and like went through the movie and uh, they kind of just ended up in the 80s um, horror slasher movie. So we have the cheesy dialogue of the 80s horror uh, genre and then we have you know what's currently happening with the 2015 kind of like what the heck how did we get stuck in here very much aware of everything that's going on of course we have that one kid who loves this movie knows everything about it Lo you know you always have to have that horror freak even though the movie itself the background movie is a character of its own uh just because it doesn't let you do certain things you kind of have to play within the movie and just like a lot of the camera work that happens there's like this kind of like looped around shot when something kind of you know like oh my gosh this can't believe this kind of happened and you know them kind of trying to figure out how they're going to escape but it's like no there's no escape you kind of have to like run through the movie itself the way that color and everything was kind of done and the way that they these two like different characters again the ones from the 80s and the ones from current time are kind of like working together trying to figure out how we're gonna survive this horror movie you know and and again it's very self-aware of what it is but it's not as cheesy and as corny as a lot of movies that are done this way. The acting is actually really good. Even though there was uh, hints of romances kind of building up, they never really fully developed because I already know how I am about romances that don't need to be part of a movie just kind of you know taking up space and time within a movie it did hint on it but there was no like real development towards it even though it's not full-on gruesome or because it's not r-rated i think it's like pg-13 or whatever so we don't get like all this blood and guts and i kind of wish it was rated r just so we can get that extra more and definitely would have like made it like that much even better also you guys i'm trying this new thing i had to put up the light a little bit more so you probably won't even be able to see i have like a little ball here that i got so it could look kind of spooky but i don't think it's working out for me so now i'm kind of regretting getting it but we're gonna we're gonna hope that works out one last thing you guys uh that i will mention that the way that um flashbacks were, were used here uh it, it's again it's done really really well you guys it it really is the way that it kind of looks like they're melting and then they're very aware of like wait what's happening what's going on like you know is this gonna kill us kind of deal and then we kind of go into those flashbacks we're in black and white and it's like wait a minute like why am i colorblind the way that the titles are used where it says like summer 19 whatever i think or something like that and the way that they like interact with those titles in the movie which is like they're there and they're kind of like going over them definitely feel like this is a movie that you should check out and again it is a, a horror comedy meta campy type of movie so if that's not something that you're really into then definitely just skip on it because i can definitely see you being like oh my god it sucks and everything like that but like no there's definitely other movies that kind of fit this kind of criteria that are done so cheesy they're done so like oh like i don't know it just does not work out as well this is not something like um epic movie and superhero movie and date movie like it doesn't go within like that i just wish it was r-rated because i definitely could have gone with more like but uh butts <laughs> we don't see butts or boobs or anything because again you know because you, know, you always see like naked people in like these horror movies but we don't see that <laughs> like, 
more blood and gut <laughs> and gore, you guys. All right, guys. Um, before I do give you my score, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new and you don't miss the remaining, what is it, like eight days of fright. All right, guys. So, um, the final girls. And I want to say girls because they've started looking for it. I believe there is a movie called The Final Girl. And from my understanding, that movie is not good. Actually, one of the characters from this movie um, comes out in that movie as well. So that might confuse you. Something like weight. This is the one that you're like looking for if you're looking for something fun. Again, if you're like me and you're not really into like that very like spooky spooky hard deal then this is definitely uh the movie for you um this is definitely gonna be you know hitting the rotation into horror movies that i will like you know in the horror genre of movies it still has horror in it you guys so i don't know why i'm air quoting it uh but yeah definitely my type of movie i did have a lot of fun for, uh with it even though i did have um issues with like the whole you know maybe it should have been rated r maybe um a little bit less like lovey-dovey emotional like deals to it but it's it's okay I, and i love the way the look the tone the feel the lighting the camera work the acting i'm gonna give this a large popcorn because again it's definitely my type of movie if you've seen the final girls let me know down below what do you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you and um i'll see you guys tomorrow night bye